Justinian the first is the other new legendary cavalry commander coming to rise of kingdoms that has just officially been revealed now I don't know why they didn't just reveal Justinian at the same exact time that they revealed Ho Chi Bing that way I could have made one video for both of them but if you guys missed my video talking about Ho Chi Bing go ahead and check it out on the channel I think that he is spoiler alert an even more powerful commander than Justinian the first I'm pointing backwards but regardless we finally know all of the skills and talents for Justinian the first so in today's video we're going to be going over everything I'm going to be giving you guys my thoughts and opinions on this commander and I'm going to be letting you guys know if this is a must-have commander or not what's going on guys cheers okay now first of all Justinian is a cavalry conquering and support commander which is a super interesting combination I can't remember the last time that we had that exact combination for a primary commander leading a rally of cavalry I actually just checked and it's Saladin okay it has been literally years since we saw a cavalry conquering support commander anyway let's jump into Justinian's first skill called the light of Rome with a 1000 rage requirement it says deals direct damage to a target troop with a damage factor of 2500 that's pretty vanilla okay then it says if this commander is the leader of a rally attack this target's defense is reduced by 30 percent okay now it says if the target is surrounded adds three surrounding troops when calculating effects that factor in the number of troops surrounding the target it also goes on to say that this does not increase the number of troops actually surrounding the target okay we're gonna break this down in a second okay but let, just bear with me here it says if the target is not surrounded the number of surrounding troops will be set at three for effect calculations but again the target will not actually be surrounded and this debuff is for five seconds okay so maybe it's the case that they waited to announce Justinian because they wanted to make sure that this was like uh, exactly what they were going to go with or maybe uh, they have to tweak I, I don't know okay but regardless the active skill here is is interesting okay now what it's saying is that what they meant to say was that Justinian is the perfect pair for Nevsky okay let me go over this the active skill on Nevsky says that it inflicts a defense reduction debuff for three seconds and it depends on the number of enemies surrounding the target so you can have up to three enemies surrounding the target 15 percent per target so that's a total of 45 percent defense reduction okay so what Justinian's active skill is saying is that for five seconds after its cast any skill that factors in number of surrounding troops is set at default to three and if there's more than that it just adds three okay so effectively what that means is if you have a Justinian primary Alexander Nevsky secondary when Nevsky's active skill fires off it will inflict always a 45 percent defense reduction for three seconds okay that is effectively what we are seeing from Justinian's skill here now the reason that they specify that it doesn't actually increase the number of troops surrounding the target is because when you are being surrounded lots of other things are happening to your army okay typically when you're surrounded you're taking more damage which means that you are generating rage faster and that would be sort of like buffing the enemy all right uh, so essentially what this is saying is that the enemy is not going to be taking more damage. They're not going to be generating more rage. Literally, they are not being surrounded. But if a skill triggers that uses number of surrounding as a modifier, add three. Okay. If zero, it's three. That's basically uh, what, what, the, what we're looking at here. Okay. So really interesting active skill. Let's go over the other skills and then we'll talk more about Justinian and Nevsky. The second skill here thank God is a lot easier it says cavalry units led by this commander gained 30 percent increased defense beautiful while outside of Alliance territory their cavalry units deal five percent more damage and gain 15 percent March speed now keep in mind if you are rallying a flag or fortress you will always be outside of Alliance territory so during rally scenarios he will always have that five percent cavalry damage bonus love that okay third skill cavalry units led by this commander gain 20 percent increased health amazing when attacking cities or strongholds their troops take 10 percent less normal attack damage so again in a rally scenario that is great here we see lots of tanky stats okay 30 percent defense 20 percent health 5 percent cavalry damage 10 percent normal attack damage reduction wow really really tanky on top of an absolute nuke of an active skill and a very powerful uh debuff okay let's take a look at the fourth skill it says cavalry units led by this commander gain 10 percent increased attack while on the map 
whenever their troop launches a normal attack while on the map it has a 10 percent chance to deal additional direct damage to the target troop with a damage factor of 80 multiplied by the number of your troops surrounding the target up to five that has a five second cooldown and then the expertise is just an enhanced version of that okay it bumps it up to 15 percent attack while on the map and 100 damage times number of troops surrounding the target and it also has a 30 percent chance of dealing that damage instead of 10. so a really huge increase in the probability of that occurring okay so what does this mean well obviously based on the active skill the expertise and that fourth skill are attempting to play with that uh surrounding troop modifier okay so with the uh, we're just going to go off the expertise numbers here okay if you are um rallying a target and you use the active skill for from Justinian for five seconds afterwards at any point during that time if you trigger this uh fourth skill you will deal a minimum of 300 damage okay because the active skill on Justinian says that there will be three targets surrounding that target for all, all calculations so that is essentially what this is saying uh now because it has a 30 percent chance of triggering every single turn and you're gonna have the surrounding modifier present for five seconds after the active skill this will probably always trigger at least once during that window and it has a five second cooldown so it can't trigger more than once during that window okay so effectively this will bump up the active skill damage from 2500 to 2800 however since it has a five second cooldown if this triggers outside of that window where there aren't a there isn't a multiplier of three for the surrounding troops then it's just going to be dealing 100 damage factor and then you'll have a five second cooldown where there's a good chance it maybe won't happen again during the buff period of of Justinian's active skill so this is a really interesting kit here on Justinian uh, we've never really seen a commander like this it's interesting to see the developers playing around with the idea of the surrounding troop modifier not necessarily increasing the number of surrounding but just playing with that modifier super interesting stuff there here's the thing if we go through his kit okay uh his third uh, first of all his active skill has a very heavy emphasis on being in a rally his third skill also has a heavy emphasis on him being in a rally so unless you're a rally leader it seems to me like Justinian is probably not a commander that you're going to be using okay because you know the active skill 2500 nuke that's insane but you won't get the defense reduction unless you're rallying okay second skill is is nice really solid stats there third skill you get nice health but the normal attack damage again you only get that when you're in a rally okay so yeah I mean the attack is nice but really unless you're rallying Justinian is just a very vanilla beat stick okay by that I mean massive single target damage really nice chunk of stats and that's pretty much it and historically commanders like that haven't been open field meta now from a rally perspective he could be part of the rally meta now one thing I will say is that it seems like Justinian is built for Nevsky pairings for rallies okay um Nevsky is obviously already extremely good in in rallies the odd thing here is that you know we will be seeing the Justinian primary because of the timing of the active skills you you basically need to have Justinian primary so that way the defense reduction on Nevsky will always have the three targets surrounding modifier which is crazy right because think about it like this you have the 30 percent defense reduction on Justinian and then one turn later Nevsky hits them with his nuke during that 30 percent defense reduction and then for three seconds after that they'll have a 45 percent defense reduction okay so effectively at least for five seconds they're going to have a defense reduction it's either going to be 30 percent or 45 percent which is wild okay so a majority of the fight the enemy or at least 50 percent of the fight the enemy is going to have um a defense reduction of a significant magnitude which is insane however the trade-off for that is that you have a support commander as your rally leader okay uh and I, I mean I feel like we would prefer the skill tree right the skill tree gives you a little bit of bonus skill damage and for long rallies that really does move the needle the support tree it's maybe a little bit more tanky you do generate more rage with the support tree on the rejuvenate skill but if I were to guess I would say this is probably the best talent build for rallying with Justinian okay grabbing rejuvenate for the bonus rage reducing the skill damage that you take with loose formation then you grab entrenched over here which grabs buckler shield along the way which is excellent 
then you grab emblazoned shield for the tankiness you grab undying fury for the extra rage and then you have three points left over and you're gonna throw that probably in halberd here however that will only matter if you're rallying an archer garrison if you're rallying an infantry garrison this is not going to do anything which is unfortunate and you aren't getting emergency protection which you typically want from the support tree but I mean that's kind of what we're left with here right so it's like this is this going to really be the talent build of the rally meta whereas if you were able to have Nevsky primary you could do a full skill build here where you have bonus skill damage on tactical mastery bonus skill damage on clarity bonus skill damage for the secondary on all for one I just feel like you would rather have all that bonus skill damage from the skill tree than just you know the tankiness and the rejuvenate from the uh, support tree right that's kind of how I look at it because you're still able to grab everything else that you would want here uh you do miss out obviously on like you know the all the points that we had for um for the the conquering tree on, on Saladin right so you know it, those are the you know the two builds that we're kind of comparing here you obviously miss out on all of this in exchange for that bonus skill damage so you know I think it, it will be really interesting to see how this plays out um ultimately you probably just because of the synergy you probably do want just in the end primary and with that being said like I can't really think of another commander that um would be an excellent pairing for Justinian based on what he's trying to do we don't have anything on Joan of Arc's kit that requires you know or has a modifier for number of troops surrounding right so like that's such an oddly specific thing I mean if we look at Zhang Yu like there's nothing here that you know has a, a modifier based on number of surrounding troops right like we don't see that on uh Chandragupta either right so I don't really know like what they were going for here do we have anything on Bertrand that does this right I, I don't think so right I don't think so so you know it's real it's a really interesting modifier that we see uh on Justinian here with his active skill it seems like they're trying to say use him with Nevsky that's really what it looks like to me uh and will he be the the rally meta now now that we have this in the game um I don't know honestly like I said yes he has a very powerful debuff he's basically a stat stick with a massive uh nuke and he has a little bit of bonus damage with the number of surrounding troops but like beyond that I don't know I feel like archers are gonna they might just hold the the rally meta man I think they might just hold it because I mean we have <laughs> we have Boudicca with Henry we have Juga Leong right like there's so many powerful archer rallies right now that are primed to really melting infantry which is the garrison meta and I suspect that the next infantry release will have an infantry garrison commander we are overdue for that right and so if you go all in on Justinian and then they release a new infantry garrison you know I, I don't know I feel like archers are probably going to stay rally meta that is my um assumption I I will have to obviously test out Justinian and see how he does but that is what I suspect to be the case anyway just as a recap if you're a rally leader for cavalry this is probably a good investment for everyone else that's an open field player open field fighter probably you can avoid Justinian and with that being said guys if you enjoyed the video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it comment down below your thoughts on Justinian I would love to hear from you guys down there and while you're down there don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified the next time I upload a rise of kingdoms video and with that being said guys Guys, thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace